to be passionate about something means to be bold and brave. I think if you're passionate about something, it should be like something you look forward to and it should be the best part of your day. I remember developing a passion in high school and discovering theater for the first time and feeling like this is where I belong. To really enjoy doing something and to really spend a lot of time doing that. I think of it as goosebump moments. Those things that all of a sudden, like the hair on the back of your arm stands up a little bit. It just feels like this is what I was meant to do. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm in the graduating class of 2022, and I've been coming to New Life since I was in sixth grade. Running sound, there's a lot of different key parts to it. You have to listen for all the instruments. You need to be able to hear each one. There's also EQ and fine tuning the sound of the instrument or the vocal. So I need to make sure that I'm fast and efficient and make the mix sound good. I love the feeling of being in control of the mix and really be involved with the entire production. It's a really different part than being up on stage and you don't get a lot of attention, but that's how I like it. I am just thrilled to watch Maya work on production and sound because I just see her blossom. I've seen her mature because of that and through that. And so it makes me so proud to look down and see her and putting together a great uh, production. I've always been interested in tech and how things work. But when I joined Academy of Worship, our sound guy here at school really was able to help me to find my passion with this and take it to another level. It went from just being a weekend hobby to kind of professional standards almost. New Life has really allowed me to grow. They know that I have a passion for this. New Life has really played a huge part in helping me to grow in my giftings. I'm Isaiah, and I'm in the graduating class of 2027. Since I've been at New Life, I've been in four productions. First, Aladdin and The Music Man. I played Mr. Wormwood and Matilda in sixth grade, and right now I'm Mr. Warbucks and Annie. Being on stage definitely comes natural to me. Isaiah started musical theater last year, and that was kind of my first time to get to know him a little bit better. You know when they say that like someone has it? I still don't even know what it is, but I call it sparkle. And he has sparkle. He knows what, how to make people laugh. He knows how to make people feel. And I think that that is, that is a gift. And he's using it really well. Being in musical theater, like the class Mrs. Bach has taught me to just go big or go home. She talks about being like a lion instead of a mouse when you're on stage and so there's just something about like hearing my voice and in front of people and because I, if I think it sounds good then and other people think it sounds good it just like makes me happy. I've been working on it for a long time and I think it's cool to see how far I've come. My hope is to create a classroom environment where they become more comfortable, that they have this freedom to explore and realize that they can do weird things and still be amazing. When I started basketball, I didn't think I would love it so much, but when I started playing, I loved it so much. I like that you can have fun, get some exercise, and be part of a team. When I first started, I wasn't very confident in myself because I didn't know how to play. But then after a couple of weeks, I got really passionate. I really liked it. It's a really fun sport once you get a hang of it. We're not necessarily learning basketball, we're learning movement and fundamentals through basketball. And I really think it's a good opportunity to build that community starting in third, fourth grade, and then have that move up through middle school and high school as these kids grow up together. When you're a kid and all of a sudden you see the ball go in the basket for that first time, there's excitement and enthusiasm that builds. Like, how can you not get behind that? 
A big benefit of Nevaeh being in this basketball program is trying something new. She might not be the best person on the team, but she feels really comfortable and encouraged to go try new things. When I started playing basketball, it just showed me how much I could be a leader. I feel like I'm gonna be confident and stronger if we work as a team. I'm gonna beat my mom if we play basketball together. And I can definitely beat my mom. She's not very good at basketball. <laughs> One, two, three. You know, as a parent and as a teacher and staff member at New Life, the most important thing that we love to see is a student find their passion and thrive. I think that passion sparks something in you to know what brings you life, to know what gives you energy, and that that in, that in itself is knowing like what God has placed inside of you. We're building the body of Christ right now. Like we're building the kingdom by giving these kids opportunities to use the gifts God has given them. It's realizing when we're made in the image of God, all the different ways that we take on that image, and then we can turn around and show it to the world. Coming from where I was in middle school, just being this hyper crazy kid that couldn't turn in a homework assignment on time to be going on to college, well, I'm proud of myself. I'm also very grateful to God for what he's been able to do in my life. The skill set that they're developing is something that they can take for the rest of their life. I think it's amazing to watch people realize that they can handle something that they didn't think that they could and that maybe they're even good at it. When I watch our kids discover that passion and the light bulb goes on and you see the smile, you see the determination, you see those moments where the kingdom's gonna grow because of what they've been exposed to in their time here.